Hi, this is Chase again, and today I am going to demo a brand new application in the last release, which was 1.11 build 16. This application is known as the Workspace, and allows you quick and easy access to your recent books, recent RSS articles and podcasts, recent files, and an audio tutorial in the Icon or Braille Plus website. My Braille Plus is on and sitting in the Applications menu, and I know that Workspace is option one. You may remember that the address book used to be option one from the Applications menu, but the address book is now moved in the Tools menu, and it can be accessed by typing 57, five for the Tools menu and seven for address book. To open the Workspace, I'll press one. Workspace welcome. Braille plus plus users website. Internet connection required. One of two. Hold down pause while pressing left and right to switch news. And it gave us some instructions. It said workspace and welcome. So then it's we're in the welcome view or the welcome tab as you may know it from Windows. The first op the first option as you heard is Braille Plus Users Website. Internet connection required. This goes to the Icon and Braille Plus user site at tech.aph.org slash mm. If I would have wireless on, it would not have said internet connection required. However, wireless is off, so it does give me that message. If wireless is on and I want to go to this website, I could just press select and it would load the web browser. Now I'll down arrow. Audio tutorial. Audio tutorial. This is a audio tutorial from Level Star that informs you on how to use every feature of every application in the Icon and Braille Plus. This opens in the bookshelf. If you want to start playing it, you can simply just press select. You heard the open program sound, which means the bookshelf is loading. Someone say that I want to copy something to And we're in the disk drive mode section of the tutorial because I have already been listening to this tutorial. However, if it wasn't, it would start the introduction section that would explain more about the tutorial. These tutorials are also available from levelstar.com in case you do not already have a unit. I'll press cancel to get out of the bookshelf and return to the workspace. workspace audio tutorial, two of two. Now another, another note about the audio tutorial is that you can navigate between the sections because it just opens that book in the bookshelf. However, I'm not going, going to go into much detail about that here, as soon I'll be making a bookshelf series of training videos, which will cover this in much greater detail. Alright, as you heard, there's only two options in the welcome view, and we've covered them both. So, we have to move to the next tab. You heard that we could press pound plus left and right, the left and right arrow keys to switch views. So I'll press and hold pound and tap the right arrow as these tabs do not wrap. RSS, articles. Now we're in RSS and we have articles and if I down arrow. Podcasts. Podcasts. Let's say I want to open podcasts. I'll press right arrow. And we have all my podcasts. And I, as you can see, I'm a very... Um, I have a blind quill tech listener. And that's just because I've listened or downloaded those recently. I held down arrow to get to the top, and I want to play Web Vism tutorial, Web tutorial blind from Blind Quill Tech. So I'll press select, and that will load the podcast in the audio player. Standard audio player commands are available there. Music player, audio player, BCT Web Vism. And that was my template announcing. And now we can just listen to the podcast, but I'll press cancel. And this does, and I press the control key to silence the speech. Um, now this shows you the most recently listened to and downloaded podcasts. So even though I had never played the Web Vism tutorial, it still put it in recent because it was the most recently downloaded. So this is convenient if you don't want to get clear into RSS just to listen to one podcast that you know is very recent. I'll press left arrow to get back. Podcasts. On all up arrow to articles. Crazy dreams from truth objective. Now I have a good article on the narrator program that comes with Windows from Fred's Head Companion, 
which is a great, very helpful blindness related blog from APH. So if I want to read that, I'll just press select. Loading article. Loading article. Red's head companion colon. The Windows narrator Red's head companion. The Red's head database contains tips, techniques, and tutorials, and it's article. reading the article. And now that's just the web content. Available. I'll press select to stop reading. But now I can just down there until I get to the actual article and then read it. But I'm not going to go into that because I will show that in a RSS tutorial. So I'll press cancel. RSS the Windows narrator from Fred's head companion. And left arrow. We're in articles. No down arrow. Podcasts. And we cover podcasts. And there's nothing above articles and nothing below podcasts. So that's that RSS view. So I'll press pound. Right arrow. And I have a lot of books. Let's see. Um, ah, beginning in Python. And if I want to read the book about beginning the Python programming language, I could just press select. It's loading the bookshelf. Now that's a um, bookshare.org book, and it's loading the bookshelf and the book, which is very nice. It doesn't take too long. Which is a little bit quicker from the bookshelf, though. And it's still loading. And there we go, it's reading. Now I'll press cancel. And it was reading about Python. So, so you can read all your recent books there. All right. And of course it gives you your um, authors, and then you heard that I have 16 books in here, or books and movies, actually. So I'm going to hold down pound and tap right arrow. And then I have different files that I've... Um, and then, let's see if I want to... Now, that has all different files that I've loaded. Now, there doesn't work. Um, I... Ah, there we go. Developing for the icon of Braille Plus. The other stuff is just, I've opened some files that I've loaded from other places and stuff, which should be not very interesting here. So, I'm going to load... Oh, there we from EP. Should I press select? And now we're in the word processor. Britain begin reading. I just press select. And there we go. I'll press select. As you can hear, I have a lot of development stuff on here. All right. Now I'll hold on pound and press right arrow. And it beeps. So that is all the tabs in the workspace. Now if I press the menu key. Options menu. One welcome. Welcome, to RSS, RSS three recent books, recent, books four recent, files, recent files. So as you can see, instead of doing how we did it, we could have used the menu, which might be easier if you don't want to press and hold a button while you press another button. Recent files. Okay. Now you're going to I've opened 46 files recently. Um, now, just to show you, I'll press and hold pound, press the left here to go recent back. RSS. Um, and we're back to welcome. So as you can hear, it beeps, and if you're on the left, it beeps the high pitch beep, and that means you're at the top or the very left, and the low pitch beep at the right, at, when you keep scrolling right, tells you that you're at the end, and that means you're, you can't go any further that way, so you have to go back. So that makes it easy, because it does not wrap, and it's just a really great application that they introduced, and gives you, as I said earlier, quick and easy access to pretty much everything you would need at a press of a couple buttons. I'll press cancel to get back to the applications menu. Applications menu. And we're back at the applications menu. That'll pretty much do it for this training video. In the next series of training videos, I will be covering the music player.